Hello everyone. I'm holding a new box of Legos. It's a Lego set. And one of the interesting things about these Lego sets is they've got a great picture on the very front cover, you know, of what you can put together. But what happens when you actually open it up, you end up getting a bunch of pieces that you have to put together and an instruction manual that you have to put together, you know, to, to show you how to actually do it. Uh, so the Lego box, the Lego uh, design doesn't come ready made. You have to put it together piece by piece. And this is really a great illustration for life, for the life that you have. You know, you have an image of who you would, who you, who you think you're going to be, what do you think life is going to be like when you're older? Uh, and what you're going to be like when you're older. Uh, but the thing is that your life is really a combination of a bunch of little Lego pieces. Every, a bunch of little Lego pieces all put together to develop you into the person that you become. Now, Lego pieces come in all sorts of shapes and sizes uh, and colors. Uh, you know, to, to come up with the final product. And likewise, your life has all sorts of different things that affect it, that when you put them all together and piece them together, help you turn out to become the person that you are. For example, uh, experiences. You have lots of experiences, is how we learn things and, and uh, how we react to different things. You can have good experiences and you can have bad experiences. Um, and for both of them, good or bad, you learn from those particular experiences and you, uh, it helps you to form convictions on how you're going to be living your life. Uh, so uh, God can even use a bad experience to be a very positive thing in the person that you become. How about choices? You have lots of choices. You can choose to be kind or not. You can be, uh, uh, I don't think, you, can, uh, you can do a really good job of whatever it is you're working on, you know, or not. Uh, you can uh, choose to obey or not. Uh, you, can, you can choose to do a really nice thing for someone, even if, you know, nobody's looking or not. All of these choices, every little choice is like a little building block. And you have these all the time. Every little building block helping to put you together into the person that you, you will become. And it's important to, for you to, to, to realize that the character that you will become is a function of the combination of all of these choices and, and so forth that you make. What about uh, friends? You know, friends can really build you up or they can tear you down. You know, they can be uplifting and, and help you in terms of, uh, and build you up in, in certain situations. Or a friend could uh, influence you into compromise or influence you into corrupt, doing something corrupt that you really shouldn't do. Uh, what about dedication to God? Following God, trusting Him, loving Him, obeying Him, um, all of this and more certainly define us as the person that we have become. If we go to church and follow God uh, only because our family does, well, that means you're going to have a little tiny little Lego spiritual piece to add to your to your life. But if you if you go to church because that's where your heart is, now all of a sudden you've got great big pieces that you're using to build your life. Uh, and this dedication to God isn't just uh, a decision or a feeling, it's action. Uh, it means it's about reading your Bible so that uh, you can learn to know God and how to live. It's, 
uh, putting what we read into practice. Uh, of all of things that of all the things that build us into the people that we become, dedication to God is the most important. Uh, now, there's more things, but you get the idea. So, you know, you the person you become is really not just a function of genetics, and that's good news, because really, you have terrific control over what you are to become. So, uh, we say that Lego sets don't come ready-made. They come in bags and instruction manuals. Well, if we use this example, uh, a Lego example to life, uh, and a picture of the person we want to become, what do you think in life our instruction manual is? Now, does a person, as a Christian, do they have an instructional manual that they use? God has a plan for you. He has created you in a certain way. He is designed for your life if you, if you allow him in your life. Uh, and the manual that he gives you to help you live the li that life is the Bible. And, and so if I had a little pile of Legos here and I gave them to you, and gave you an hour to put put something together. You could probably do something pretty doggone interesting. But what if I had a huge pile of Lego pieces and gave you all day? I'll bet that you could come up with something pretty doggone phenomenal. Remember that every experience and every choice uh, is adding to your pile, your family, the friends you choose, uh, all of these make a difference. Uh, but following God for real, not just because your mom and dad do, or not because we want you to, but because you want to, that makes all the difference. You know, then God can help you and design you, and you can do things that will just turn out to be an absolutely an amazing person. And, and I can just picture that with all of you if you do it his way.